What you guys got another video here for you on how to fix Windows 10 problems with a piece of software that I'm going to be showing you today. Now there's a bunch of things that can go wrong with Windows whether you forget your Windows 10 password or whether you've got malware on the system or whether you need to uh, check the hard drive and all this sort of good stuff then I'm going to show you how to fix it with uh, Medicat. Now Medicat is a piece of software you can download for free and you can create your own bootable uh, USB flash drive with Medicat on it and it's got bundles of software inside here which you can use to help you fix uh, problems with your computer. Now you can see there is some download links here for Google Drive, Mega and also Torrent Download so you can choose either one of those to download. Now what I have found is that Mega is always uh, capped at two gigabytes so you can't get the 10 gigabytes down unless you've got a premium account but Torrent Download allows you to download the whole file at reasonably fast speeds. Now there's three different versions here. You've got the Medicat at USB, also Mini Windows 10, and also there's another version there of Mini Windows 10 Naked. And you can see the differences there. It sort of explains everything which you can look at there and choose which one you want to download. We're going to be taking a look at the Medicat USB version today. Uh, that means it doesn't have a Mini WinPE system in that one, but it does have uh, some useful programs in it. There's no portable apps on this one either But if you want me to look at the mini Windows 10 then let me know in the comment section below and I'll make that video for you That does have portable apps and also uh, Mini PE now you're going to need something like Rufus to create your bootable USB flash drive You can download this for free There is a portable version which I use all the time and it means it doesn't need to be installed on the system This is it right here very small download and again, it's really useful uh, if you create a lot of bootable USB flash drives, then Rufus is the number one tool for you. So I've already downloaded the file. As you can see, I used the torrent here and I've got it downloaded and I just unzipped it. You can use 7-zip to unzip this file. Just right click and extract here with 7-zip and it will extract the ISO file into a folder. You can see it's still in the downloads folder which I used a torrent to download the actual file because I found it a lot easier to get that down. So here is we have the file. What I'm going to do here now is open up Rufus and we can create our bootable USB flash drive. So you can see I've got my USB flash drive plugged in. It's a 64 gigabyte version. You can use a smaller one if you wish, but basically as long as it's big enough to contain the 10 gigabytes which it needs to obviously uh, use so probably as a good 16 gigabytes or up would be good enough for what you need i've got a 64 gig so that's one i'm using i'm going to hit select here and select the iso image and we can then select medicat iso here that's it now we need to choose our partition scheme there's gpt and there's also mbr the gpt is for more modern systems uefi non csm or you can go for MBR, which is what I'm going to be using here, which is for BIOS or UEFI CSM. So that's the one I'm going to be using in this uh, build. Leave the file system as NTFS and leave the volume label as Medicat 19.10 or later version if you're using this at a later date. Click start and you may see this here. So a download is required. So I'm just going to say yes here because it wants to download uh, the Grub 2.0 uh two and uh, that's what we're going to do here so say yes here and that will download it and you may see another pop-up come in here an image uses sys linux as well so i'm going to say yes here for that one as well it's then going to warn you about wiping the data on the drive so yes to that and it will format the drive and get it prepared ready for medicat 19.10 uh, so we'll let that go ahead and do its thing and this does take a bit of time so be patient and let it create uh, the USB flash drive because it is 10 gigabytes in size so it's going to take a fair few minutes uh, to get that prepared for us but once we've got that done we can then boot to this and then obviously I'll show you all the tools that it has to offer so let's speed this process up so we can get on with booting to the drive itself so that should now be completed there we go we can now click close and we can now take this over to the PC and boot to it so now we are at the PC here, I'm going to tap F12 and this will give me the boot options for my USB flash drive. I'm going to select SanDisk because this is what mine is. And you may need to make changes in the BIOS to make it boot to this USB flash drive if you use the MBR uh, boot method. So now I need to accept their terms and conditions. So once we agree, we'll be taken to the main menu 
where we'll have a bunch of tools which we can boot to and use. So we can see here we have got Windows installers, Windows recovery for 7, 8.1 and 10. And there's a bunch of other stuff here like continue booting to Windows 10 PC, shut down a PC, reboot a PC, diagnostic utilities, which is ultimate boot CD, hard disk tools. We've got that there and also backup and restore options, remove user accounts and passwords here, malware bytes, anti-malware. We also have active um, as well, active boot disk for DOS and also active boot disk. And we have Lubuntu, which is for Linux. So if you want to boot to that, you can do Windows Recovery 7, 8.1 and 10 and Windows Installer. So let's go to one of these here and take a look. So Windows Recovery, we're going to this one first and take a look. This should give you uh, three options to boot to depending on what version of Windows you want to actually use. So if you're using, uh, say, for instance, Windows 7, you would obviously boot to Windows Recovery 7, but we're on Windows 10, so we're going to boot to Windows uh, 10 Recovery. Now, what this will give you is a bunch of other options uh, for repairing Windows. So let's boot into this. It's going to load this up, so it does take a bit of time. So be patient and let that load all the files up and you should get access to a bunch of other tools which you can run from this environment. Maybe you've got a, a corrupt Windows system or missing Windows files or whatever it is you're having problems with, you can uh, do some fixes from this location. So you can see we've got the Windows setup box here. All you need to do at this stage is click on next here and then you can see install now or we've got repair this PC. Go to repair this PC or repair this computer and click troubleshoot and you will see Microsoft Diagnostic Recovery Toolset uh, which is MS Dart and you can use those tools here and use those to fix Windows. Now also you've got the Windows installer part here which allows you to install Windows from this location as well which is install Windows 10, install Windows 8.1 and also install Windows 8. So you've got three options available just in case you need to reinstall Windows because obviously maybe you've got a corruption or you just want to give it a nice fresh reinstall of Windows 10. Now of course some people may prefer to go to Microsoft's website and download the uh, media creation tool and create their own bootable USB flash drive with Windows on it. But again, you get the installer here with Windows 8, 8.1 and 10. So let's take a look at some other options that you can do with the Medicat USB. So I'm just going to quickly go back into the main menu here. And there we are. We have uh, Lubuntu Linux as well. You can boot to that. And also we do have Malwarebytes anti-malware if you want to boot into there and run scans for malware backup and restore options and we also have hard disk tools and diagnostic utilities this is the ultimate boot cd and it's been created in into this uh, sort of build here so you've got a load of good stuff here bios cpu hard drive memory others peripheral system parted magic and a bunch of other stuff inside those areas here there's a bunch of other tools i'm pretty sure you've heard about ultimate boot cd if you haven't and I don't know where you've been living because it's been out for a long, long, long time and it's got some really useful tools on it. A little bit like Hiram's Boot CD, but again, it's uh, free to use. So let's move on to something else here. In the hard disk tools, you can see we've got IOMI Partition Assistant, ESUS Partition Master, Super Grub, and we've also got Gparted Mini Tool, Partage, uh, Parted Magic, and also Flop Boot Manager and Spinrite and also boot repair disk so some good stuff there and you've got Derek's boot and nuke which is a, like a, a wiping tool for erasing your drive uh, securely but again don't use that on solid state drives it's not that much good for that sort of thing now it does have uh, the malware bytes anti-malware on here which you can load up and basically run scans from that location which will then remove any sort of malware so let's take a look at some other bits here what we have got so we also have uh, remove user account password. So if you've got a password on your system, you can remove it. And there's a bunch of them on here, but I'll just quickly show you this one. It's already on there. Very simple and easy to do. Just use this to reset your Windows password. Now, if you want to actually see me use this tool to actually do some tasks like backing up or you know removing passwords or running a scan or something like that, then let me know in the comment section below and I'll do my best to make those videos for you. If you want to see more 
on uh, the other version of this, the mini Windows 10, which has portable apps and stuff like that, let me know in the comments section below. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Thanks again for watching, guys. Have a great day and stay safe, and I shall see you again real soon. Bye for now. Now, if you haven't subscribed yet, hit the red subscribe button and hit the bell notification button and click all to be notified when we upload new videos. Thank <laughs> you.